Voodoo-Bembel. Was ist denn das? Knickknack store. That reminds me of the old days when Grandma used to take me to those rancid dollar shops. Knickknack store? Rancid? I resent such terminology. Uh, sorry. Antiques. These are antiques. Precious, rare, unique pieces. Carefully selected by none other than me, personally and offered to the public for purchase. For a small contribution, of course. I didn't mean to be rude. And that means... Do not touch anything! No touching! Nothing! Absolutely nothing! Just look with your eyes! Do you understand that? Yes, of course. Excellent! <sighs> this guy doesn't seem to be the most relaxed sort. Let's look around a bit, but we'd better not touch anything. We don't want the poor fellow to have a heart attack and end up with me being wanted for murder. You know, like in the pilot of a streaming series or something. Hey, a coin. A ballpoint pen. Can I have that too? No. For short-term use only, not for takeaway. Huh. Brochures. Huh. Can I take one of these? But of course. However, only one per person. They are free. Thanks. An oversized arrow. I guess it's supposed to make sure you don't miss the table. Well, that's accomplished. Genuine. And made. Not for sale. Looks like an advertising poster, with a pirate. Not a replica. Remnant of an old hotel on a Caribbean island. The poster says, Grog, more than a soft drink. Now also available in the following flavors. Diet Grog, Cherry Grog, Grog Classic, Caffeine-Free Grog, Near Grog, a non-alcoholic variant, and Light Grog. Wait, it also says something in small underneath. Contains kerosene and battery acid. Wait, what? Battery acid? A national drink. Okay. <laughs> there is still something there. Caution, eat contents quickly. Otherwise, eats through cup bottoms. No liability, all rights reserved. Delicious. Huh. A diamond ring. Wow, that's really a big diamond. Real and real cursed. Cursed? Natural. Original engagement ring of a zombie pirate. One of a kind. Rare. Valuable. The distinctive inherent smell is unmistakable and not a sign of inferior quality, but a sign of authenticity. And that's, um, yeah. A self-portrait. Dedicated to a Dr. F. Edison, supposedly the father of the artist. A dog. Somehow the picture looks familiar. Fits in any living room, from the estate of an elderly lady. A picture. Very orange and yellow. Looks exotic. Part of an original rug of exotic origin. Sold to me by a man named Brian 2000. I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at. A self-portrait of a certain F. Wildly. On the back is written, For my best friend, Drew Blank. A face. A tofu face. Snapshot taken by a nature photographer for a report. Very rare. A small picture. It shows the earth, behind it the sun slowly rising. An original. Artist is a certain Orion B. 
An old TV with a game console. This is really retro. A real gem, isn't it? Which is on the game console. A nice adventure game with comic art. But the puzzles? Whew, very illogical. You die a lot. Have you tried it? Of course. Finished it? No, I didn't get past the mouse cage. I'm missing the walkthrough. A chandelier. It looks like it used to hang in an old pirate's nest. It did. A little bell. Strange. Although the door opens outward, I could swear that the little bell rang when I entered the store. Not for sale. Latest generation. Powered by solar energy. Registers every new customer, even without mechanical bells and whistles. Cool. A rubber chicken. Includes a carabiner hook. Original piece from the 90s. A sign. It says, touching forbidden. And underneath in small letters, touching obligates to purchase. No exception. Hmm. Exactly. A bottle in which there is a small model ship. An original item from a Caribbean restaurant. Especially popular with pirates. May have traces of chicken feathers. A wooden tripod. Does not look very special. Excuse me? French origin from the year 1996? A diamond is said to belong to it. Unfortunately, untraceable until today. Probably an unknown private possession. A doll made of cloth. It has only embroidered eyes, but otherwise no face. A voodoo doll. Needles only available at extra cost. Clock. I am not sure if this is the right time. Of course it is. Dishes. Vases. Plates. More vases. Ah, reminds me of Grandma. All precious one-of-a-kind pieces. Terribly fragile. Oh, books. Let's see. Posal Smurther. Translated, Death's Messenger. Author S. Gordon. Hmm. And here, the Papa Pichu Bush and other curiosities from Plunder Island, an anthology. Interesting. Boxes. No labels. Do not touch! What's in there? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. You sell empty boxes. I prefer the name Cardinal. They are antique. Do not touch. A sign. I can't read the inscription. And it's none of your business either. A painting. It shows a dog. The artist claims that it is a humanoid version of a dog that he encountered in a cartoon-like second reality. Clearly attributed to surrealism. A gramophone. Basically the primeval dinosaur of Bluetooth speakers. Just without Bluetooth. And without power. And without speakers. And not quite as handy. It comes with a record. Beethoven. Ooh. Sonata 12 in A-flat major. Aha. Uh -huh. Funeral march. Oh. An oval picture. I think it's a portrait. Of course it's a portrait. It shows a face, two eyes, mouth, and nose. What else would it be? An armor. It looks very well preserved. It must be very precious if it's an original. Originates from the liquidation of a Parisian joke store. The owner is a distant acquaintance. A chewing gum machine. As a child, I used to search the... I always preferred the chewing gum. Fully functional. However, it only contains chewing gum. should work. Oh, now don't get stuck. Yay! A chewing gum! I beg you. A little more composure. Oh, of course. Yes! Do not even think about it! Nice shop. Excuse me? No. It is an excellent store. Each unique piece under this roof is its own treasure. 
I sell only originals. Connoisseurs travel from far and wide to purchase my unique pieces. That sounds impressive. My clients include the creme de la creme of the upper class. How many customers do you get in a year? Well, you so... Well, so you could say... Well, so sometimes, uh, at least, so... So, no one? The road is very long. The clientele is very busy. But you just said... What's the point of this line of questioning anyway? Who are you? Somebody from the Consumer Protection Agency? The Antique Sales Department? Um, from the Antique Sales Department? Impossible! Yes, as I stand here. Impossible! Such a prestigious body as the official Antique Sales Department would never, and I emphasize, would never, and I emphasize, never, employ such a cretin, let alone send them here. A cretin? Cretin! You Philistine! There you go. Philistinette, if anything. So you don't believe me? Let's not get stuck on quibbles. No, I don't believe you. And you are a very bad liar. I am Vio. Please spare me the long monologue about your biography now. I don't want to know where you came from, nor why you have come here of all places to steal my time. Do you intend to buy something? Not really. I don't have any money with me, and if I'm honest, I don't really know what I'm doing here. <sighs> Why don't you say it right away? So you studied philosophy? Well, short of money and these constant why questions about the here and now, existence... Um... I knew right away I wanted to make something better out of my life. So why are you selling old stuff? Don't you dare! Old stuff? This shop is a treasure trove! A refuge of precious antique pieces! Valuable treasures, silent witnesses of significant history! So, in summary, old junk. Rarities from better times. Each unique piece is an irrevocably precious relic of inestimable value. The state of preservation of my antiques is legendary and the rarity value undisputed. Each of these pieces of jewellery has been manufactured to a very high standard, mostly by hand. All right, all right. Any connoisseur would be awestruck when viewing this invaluable collection. However, this requires appropriate expertise in order to correctly assess age, originality, and provenance, which you obviously lack. These brochures. Only one per person. They are free. Nice, isn't it? Uh, yes. What's that all about? What do you mean? Well, why are there brochures for an indie game lying around an antique shop? Are they antique too? <laughs> of course not. You like to joke, don't you? Uh, is that a trick question? Considering the... circumstances, what else should I have put there? The preciousness that ultimately matters? Please, that would have taken away the special charm of the whole thing. I don't really understand. Should I have left the table empty instead? How absurd would that be? And the beautiful signs? Remodeling half the interior just for... for that? I don't earn enough for that. Do you know how much effort that would take? No, no. Keep the brochure and enjoy it. And if you're particularly nice, visit the website or leave a comment on Twitter. Website? Twitter? Twistedtail.de Or, attention, now it gets particularly creative, at Tail Twisted! Isn't that a nice pun? Twisted like that. Uh... <sighs> these brochures. Only one. Uh, uh, Could I twist? Uh, these. Uh, 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 consider. I should I webs twisted? Uh... <sighs> I'll um look around some more. If you must, but please don't touch anything. We only look with our eyes. 
not our hands. <sighs> of course. I'll borrow it sometime. A hat. Looks like it's from a magician's costume. Original piece from 1994. Guaranteed not a replica. Very expensive. A red scarf. Once belonged to a well-known hero in search of a better life. <sighs> that sounds romantic. Did he save someone? Yes and no. Did he find the better life then? Yes and no. And he's still a hero? But of course. <laughs>